Welcome back to episode eight, I think, of the Mendiola FC series. We are back today for the PFL Cup quarterfinal against Maharlika Manila. And then I think we'll also stay for our league match against Maharlika Manila as well. But let's catch you up from where we were last time. So last time up, we played Passar Guard and Dexter Chio got an enormous hat trick, which was awesome. And then we have a bunch of time in between matches here. So I've played a lot of friendlies just to make sure that the players are still match fit since we don't train that much. But since then, we lost 1-0 to Stallion in a match that was honestly pretty even. And it was a bit of a devastating loss given that they scored so late and we did have a goal disallowed. We had more shots. They had a little bit better XG and more possession. But again, it was pretty even. After that, we lost 3-1 to Kaya. In a match that I don't really know how we lost it the way we did. We had way more shots. We didn't have that many on target. We were pretty even XG wise, but looking at the extended highlights, like we had all of the shots and then they had like three or four extended highlights that all happened to be goals. Dexter Chio did get us a consolation goal at the end, but this was a game I really felt like we were in and should have got something from. And then on the on the surface of it, a really good result against United City, a 1-1 draw. But then you look at the match stats. We dominated this game. More shots, more shots on target, significantly better chances in XG. There were so many instances where I just couldn't believe that we hadn't scored. But we only came out, and when we took the lead, I really thought we were going to go on and win it. And we ended up just drawing one to one which was a little disappointing but you know one point from those three games those are three of the best teams in the league it's not too bad i suppose but then looking at the pfl table our recent form isn't phenomenal um looking at where we are we are in fifth i mean we're well above mahalika manila and adt and we are at this point kind of behind the top four positions we're we're gonna settle in around fifth i think we're gonna finish around fifth this season there isn't a whole lot left to play for in the league, um, which is why I haven't really shown the league too much. But there is still a lot to play for in the PFL Cup, where we play Maharlika Manila in the quarterfinal. And the winner gets either Kaya, who's in fourth, or DHC, who's in first, essentially. Two of the best teams in the PFL. So whoever wins this match, I think the run ends probably at the semifinal. But we've had a good run so far, almost a miraculous run. It would be really nice to defeat Maharlika Manila away from home here and see what we can do. And real quick before we get into the match, I feel like I talk a lot about how I feel like we're better than our position is concerned. Well, going into the data hub here, and if you ever want to do this in your data, if you go to data hub, you go to ask for, you hit the drop down here, you can get the XG table. And this is going to show you where you're supposed to be, essentially. We should be in second. We should have so many more goals. We shouldn't be allowing as many goals. And we're six points worse off than we should be. We're in fifth. We should be in second, which is just... When you look at that, you know, this this kind of reaffirms that the tactic is good. The style of play is good. It's just the quality of players aren't there. If you, if the quality of players aren't good enough on your team, you will consistently underperform your expected point total. And that'll be because you're not scoring. You don't have the quality to score as many goals as you should. And you don't have the quality defense and goalkeeping and you're allowing more goals than you should. If you have really good players, especially compared to league, you will consistently outperform your XG and your, your expected points. So... You know, this is kind of why in Football Manager especially, it's the most important thing is bringing in the best quality players you can. But given that our team isn't very good and that we should be in second right now, it, it does reaffirm, I think, how well we're doing and what we're doing at the club currently. Anyways, that is where we are at the moment. We are going to play Maharlika Manila in a huge PFL Cup quarter final. This is the team that's going to go up there. Um, since we last saw you, I think. I signed this guy here, uh, Kairul Muhammad, who's actually a real player. Um, I signed him from a club in Brune, 
I, I don't know that country, to be honest. But there was two players that I signed from the club. I saw this guy. I thought he, he was a good-looking forward. Decent Holy Trinity. Decent physicals. And I also signed a ball-winning midfielder here, Suhaimi, who, who looks pretty solid for this level. Decent tackling and good physicals. Unfortunately, he is suspended. I actually don't know why he's suspended. He must have accumulated yellow cards. But this is the team that's going to go out to face Maharlika Manila in the PFL Cup. Fingers crossed we do well. I will see you in the match. And here we are. PFL Cup quarterfinal against Maharlika Manila. A big cut match. Let's see what we can do. Maharlika Manila are also playing a 4-4-2. Recently, we've been playing a lot of teams playing with more players in the midfield. So hopefully that will be to our advantage that we're kind of playing man-to-man -man essentially and we're not going to be outnumbered anywhere. So hopefully we can get in behind and win second balls in the midfield as Muhammad does a really good job there. He plays it back to Mordal. Mordal scores! What a finish! That's exactly how we're trying to play. In through the channels, cut back to Mordal who got way up, and we lead 1-0. Well won by Hogard. He plays it to Gwinnabong. Gwinnabong plays it to Hajimadi. Hajimadi plays it to Titoy. We work the ball forward. Muhammad, with his good off the ball, gets in behind. He plays into Chio. Chio finds the back of the net with a brilliant header. And we are leading 2-0. Oh, in the PFL Cup quarterfinal. I am stoked. What a what a great passage to play. We worked the wall well out. We went direct just like we want to. Muhammad puts a great ball into the box. Chio finds the back of the net. It is 2-0. Maharlika Manila, interestingly, are playing a very low line, which is looking to be to our advantage. Gonzalez plays it into Chio. Chio strikes and scores a phenomenal goal. What a finish from outside the box. Chio is a man in form right now. We played that around. So that, that goal deserves viewing again. Titoy plays it into Gonzalez. Chio, one touch, gets it out of his feet and finishes in the bottom corner. What a strike. Titoy plays it to Gonzalez, who plays it back to Titoy. He plays it back to Hogard, an interesting move there. But it's into Mordell. I don't mind Mordell striking this or getting the cross into Chio. And Chio has, is that the Hattie for Chio? That is the Hattie for Chio. Third goal of the match. He is having a day and we are storming to victory. We have dominated this game. It's unusual for us to have so much possession because we are not a possession-based team at all. So the fact that we have so much possession is showing how well we're doing today and how deep Maharlika Manila's line is because they're really struggling to get out. As Lee plays it into Gonzalez, who finds the back of the net, it is 5-0. What a performance from the lads. Now, in the dressing room, I'm going to tell them that they're doing really well. I'm also going to put out a lot of subs because we have a bunch of players on yellows. And obviously, we play Maharla Kamnil next, which is given how we're playing. I'd like to keep these guys on. So I'm going to make a bunch of subs, and we will go into the second half. And an opportunity for Mendiola here to start the second half. Titoy plays it forward to Chio. He takes the shot. I don't mind it with what he's doing today. And it is knocked down to Soberano. Soberano plays it up to Idris. Mordal plays it into Soberano. He finds the right ball into Chio. Chio scores. Is he offsides? I think he might have been offsides. Sure enough. Oh, and I have a player injured? Okay, well, he was on the ground, but he seems fine now. So it is what it is. And we enter the last 10 minutes of the match. I would not mind if this game just kind of fizzles out, given that we're leading 5-0 and looking at a PFL Cup semifinal berth. But Lee looks to swing it in. It's cleared out. Second chance to opportunity. This is a good spot to get something. It goes to Titoy. Titoy shoots. Oh, it was deflected. I was like, that was a terrible shot. I did not see that it was deflected. But another opportunity here for the in-swinger. Mordal swings it in. It goes to the back post. It's cleared away. And we enter injury time. Maharlika Manila with the throw-in. But we look to go forward. Can Nemora beat his man and find the right ball? Can he just cut it back to Titoy? Titoy shoots. That is a poor shot. That is a very poor shot by Titoy, I must say. 
our biggest and best victory of the season. 5-0, tons of shots, significantly better XG, and just great play all around. We're going to go in, tell them they had an excellent performance, and we will look forward to the next match against the same opponent. Apparently, that result was a huge surprise, as Mendiola caused PFL Cup surprise. We were the main surprise. We are considered minnows. We are in the, we are in the PFL, but we are minnows. But with that being said, DHC won their match against Kaya, I believe in extra time, which means we will face them at home in the PFL Cup semifinal. We'll definitely be back for that. They are first in the league. I don't know. How have we done against them? If we look at our schedule, how have we done against DHC? So we lost to them 2-0. We lost to them 3-1. Yeah, okay, we haven't beaten them. So that will be a tough match. But that's a little ways away. Until then, I will be back for the next match against Maharlika Manila again. All right, it is essentially an unchanged side for our second match against Maharlika Manila. The only difference is Jacobs comes in because Lee is suspended, which I didn't realize he would be suspended, to be honest. But this is our unchanged side, essentially. Let's get stuck in. I do not like playing teams back-to-back -back in Football Manager because it, it never goes as well the second time as it did the first time. Like, that's just my weird Football Manager conspiracy theory. But hopefully, this isn't true in this case, as Maharlika Manila have a good start, and it's a good save by Tan. It just never feels as good the second time around. It just never seems as easy. Especially if you win the first one convincingly, the second match, something goes wrong. So hopefully that isn't true here, but we shall see. They shouldn't be doing this well. They're out for revenge. You know how that revenge pep talk just always works? I feel like they're, they're, there's no way that's a pen. He got the ball. Hogard got the ball. There's no way that's a pen. Football manager, that is not a pen. And what is, how is that not saved? Why does this always happen in the second match of a game? Why? Why? That's what? That should have been saved. Look at how it, it goes right under him. And that's never a pen. How is this happening? We need to just write back. Come on, let's get the goal right away. We're at home. Let's show them what we've got. Muhammad, play it through to Chio. Titoy plays it out wide to Gonzalez. He's now playing on his favorite. Why is he shooting from there, Hajabadi? What are you doing? And we are unable to get him behind or win the second ball. Suddenly, we're the team with the deeper line. Not intentionally, but just because they're doing a good job keeping the ball. Mordal, do not do anything very stupid here. Well done. Hogard, right here would be great. Right here. Let's get it right here. Right here. That's fine. Over the top is fine, too. I didn't think he could hit that ball. I didn't think he had him in him. And Mahali gets the ball in. Gonzalez and we have the equalizer. We are back. Let's go. Oh, that was a great. It starts with the ball from Mordal. <laughs> he gets it into Mohamed. Mohamed beats his man. He gets the ball into Gonzalez. All right, we're back in it. Come on, guys. Let's win the ball. Let's win the ball here. Let's 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 get on the front foot here. Well done by Titoy. He plays it to Gwinnabong. We can play it in. Can we play it into Chio's feet here? That's exactly what we wanted. Now let's get Gonzalez in behind. Lovely ball. Muhammad's somewhere over there. Ma we play the ball in. Muhammad was somewhere over there. It's two to one. All right. We have grown into the match here. A two goal cushion would do us nicely. Oh, that's not a very good corner, but that's okay. Gonzalez gets it back in. That's a good position. And it is three to one. I haven't been this excited in one of these videos for a while. I feel like we we haven't really played that well. Um, but like we we got the win against Passar Guard, and then I think in the other one we got a few losses. But let's go. We are we are on goals. I haven't even seen this in the non-episodic portions of the game. Hogard scores! Hogard scores! Oh, man! Oh, I'm so glad that this isn't the episode. 
I feel like we haven't played well in a while. Like, or sorry, like we've been playing well, but I feel like we haven't scored for a while. I was just talking about the XG table. Look at us outperforming the XG. And if we can get the ball, oh, a better first touch, we could have gotten behind with Chio there. Harlick and Manila clear it forward. Well won by Jacobs. We do not win the second ball. That's oh, uh, that's what we need to be winning really to create opportunities is that second ball, but that's okay. Maharlik and Manila are actually playing it around quite nicely here. This is definitely going to be, I was going to say, that was the opportunity for them. Was that a shot? What a save! Was that a save? Or was that off the, off the woodwork? To the end of the half, a, a, a wonderful half for us. Wow, a 4-1 lead. I, it's, it's so unusual for us to score. Like, we, we got four goals in four minutes. It's so unusual for us to be so clinical. But it's great to see. But we have the opportunity to create another attack here. Let's just go simple to Jacobs. That's the right ball there. He plays it into Titoy. Tito plays it for to Muhammad, who tries to find Chio gets back in, nearly finding the back of the net. Muhammad lays it back to Soberano. Soberano plays a, a weird, that was a good ball, I thought, but Muhammad like ran away from it for some reason, but that's okay. He wins it back. He finds Chio. Chio's got to go to it there. He tried to take it off the left footed volley. Accidentally pressed encourage when I meant to press praise, so now everyone's really unhappy. Hopefully that doesn't affect this highlight. I, I'm so sorry. It's like I just went to the touchline and I was going to go praise, but I accidentally said encourage, and now they're really angry. Oh, oh, man. And you know what? If I hadn't encouraged them, that might have been a goal instead of hitting the crossbar. Look at how mad they are at me. Oh, boy. Hopefully that won't affect this corner, though. As it's put in, uh, Chio nearly got it. It falls to Gonzalez, but it's it's well blocked, to be fair to them. Falls to Gonzalez again. Oh, Idris. If I hadn't encouraged him, he might have been on the end of that one. That's okay. We look to go for it again. It's over the top. Oh, man. Uh, I blame my encouragement for not for us not scoring there. All right, everyone's back to normal now. So hopefully this highlight leads to a goal. Soberano facing the corner flag finds Mordal. He looks for Chio, but Chio wins the second ball here. He plays it back to Titoy. Titoy gets the shot on target nearly scoring there, but an excellent save by Dizon. A different keeper than they had in the last match. I thought Rosalia played well. I wonder why Rosalia is not starting. As Hajimadi heads it over the bar. Hajimadi facing our own goal. He does a nice job to turn and find a pass into Mordal. Mordal plays a brilliant ball into Baldo. Baldo finds Idris. The keeper went way past that, but that's okay. It went over the bar. But he'll clear it forward. That'll be the end of the match. A 4-1 victory. What an episode. A 9-1 as far as goal differential is concerned in this episode. A win and a good performance. I'll see you at the end of this. Well, that was an absolutely fantastic episode. A goal scoring episode for us. That win puts us positive for our goal differential, so that is nice to see as we defeat Mario Camanella, who are now in last. But that keeps us in fifth, but we're sort of within touching distance, not really of kind of fourth, third, second, and first, which are all kind of similar to each other. Um, third and second, I believe, get into the Asian Confederations Cup, but all of the money is in the Asian Champions League. So this is what we will be working towards in future seasons. But for now, six wins, four draws, six losses, not too bad. And with that, I think I will do this playthrough here. And I think our next match, we will come back for that PFL Cup semifinal against DHC. And then after that, we'll probably come back for the last game against DHC. And then we'll move forward through the end of the season. I don't expect to make the PFL Cup final. Um, but then we'll do maybe our end of season review, and then we'll look at going into season two after that, and we'll look at trying to improve the squad and get a little bit further up the table. But with that, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I hope you all are enjoying the series. Have a wonderful week. I will see you all in the next one. Bye.